They both have the options to customize the side panels as well. So depending on what your preference is, what your house looks like, you can really customize them. These are luxurious looking dual boiler machines. And of course, being dual boilers means you can steam milk and make espresso simultaneously, endlessly most of the time. And these are big, heavy duty machines that could be used in a light commercial setting. So let's say you're a little school cafe where not you're trying to build up the espresso market there for the first time. This is the sort of machine that can handle that. However, I always recommend if you're going into a commercial setting where it could grow quite quickly, make sure that you do look at two group machines because just having the ability to do four lots of coffees at once just makes that time shorten much better than having to wait for one coffee to extract. Even doing milk at the same time, you're still waiting that 30 seconds for a double shot coffee, which might be one person's coffee, or it might even be half their coffee if they want more shots in. Now the Bezerra Matrix and the Duo, they both have a touchscreen display, really cute display that shows a lot of the temperature settings. It has a built-in PID, it has pre-infusion, and you can play around with the settings. You can play around the shot counters, I believe, inside there. And it has a couple of automated pre-infusion. So unlike a lot of the E61s, which are a mechanical pre-infusion, and you have to manually hold it, this you can set on the touch screen. You can make the distance and the time have a pause. You can have it go automatically back flush as well. So that gives it a different type of setting. All of that can be controlled through the touch screen on the little screen on built into the machine. Not enough people talk about the Bezerra brand, but it is fantastic. And in terms of reliability, all of these machines, you're looking at 20 plus years. So you don't have to worry so much about that unless you get a lemon. And there are two types for both of these machines. There's a manual and a dose. The dose is a programmatic, so it's a volumetric doser. So you just select, do I want 45 mil out? Do I want 30 mil out? Do I want 60 mil out? Whatever it is that you're aiming for, you program it in there and it's got three programmable plus a manual and that can allow you to dose out the exact amount of extracted liquid from your coffee so and the manual is obviously it doesn't have that function and they, i think they range between a hundred dollars difference between the two so the pros are for these machines are they exceptional quality control over all parts of your espresso apart from completely pressure profiling it itself these really do well and for the price point being at the very bottom end of that 3k budget really good solid machine that's not talked about enough the other pros are that it can customize the wall side panels and if you want to juice it up with those led lights really nice it's a conversation starter for any time people walk into your kitchen and see the blue lights or the purple lights glowing on the side of your machine and then having the touchscreen display able to adjust all your settings just on the front there makes it quite nice rather than having to dig in underneath the machine or a side panel or an app or something like that. So that's quite handy as well. Now there really aren't many cons for it, which was one of the great things about these Bezerra machines. Obviously there's a steep learning curve. As I said before, this is probably not your first home machine, but certainly worth it if you wanted to go there and you got the budget. Other cons for it is probably that it's a little bit expensive for lacking some of the features compared to say the Leylit Bianca. But other than that, can't say anything bad about this machine. I think it's beautiful and I wish more Bezerras would be on the market and more people understood how great and more people understood how great this machine actually is. So I give the Duo an eight out of 10 and I give the Matrix a nine out of 10 just because I think if you've got the guts to pull off an LED lit panel in your home, I think all the credit to you. That's why I give you the extra mark, okay? Here's another brand that I've talked about in previous videos, Profitech. Profitech, fantastic combination of German and Italian manufacturing and engineering. So you have that precision, you have that experience in the espresso realm, and they've put together a couple of dual boilers that are fantastic. And I've got two that I'll talk about. One is the 700 series, and that has two models. There's a 700 straight, and then there's the drive. Now the drive just has a few more extra functions like the flow control, pressure profiling, and the 700 doesn't have that. But other than that, these are identical machines and maybe they cost you a couple of hundred dollars difference. They both sit at that 3,200 US dollar range, depending on where you buy it. And with Profitech, like in the other lower ones, like the Go is particularly great. The 400 series, fantastic. The 700 is a brilliant, dual boiler with pack filled with heaps of features. So what are those features? Well, interestingly, this is an E61 group head 
but it's a dual boiler. A lot of the dual boilers go away to a saturated head or to other types of technologies, but this one, it's really interesting because you have that classic E61 shape, but with the dual boiler in it. And that's why Profitech are really good for this because they do blend those two realms between the traditional and the modern. Not only that, it has a full PID system, which allows you to control the temperature right down to the degree Fahrenheit and centigrade and also has the ability to directly plumb in your machine as well so you get that direct line of water. On top of that, with the drive model, you have the ability to pressure profile and flow control and that just gives you that extra level of control, experimentation, anything that you like. If you really wanna take your espresso to the next level, that's the machine for you. So the pros of this machine is that it's really easy to use. The steam one is particularly nice. I really love the steam and the ability to control the steam pressure, steam temperature as well. So you can really blast it out. But also these have really nice steam handles and steam knobs, but they're spring loaded. So you don't have to like wind it 50 times just to turn it. It's just a half turn and that gives you full pressure on the steam. It's really easy to use. There's a bit of a learning curve. And I think the only cons I really have with this machine is that for the price point that it sits at, it's pretty plain. It doesn't have a lot of different options there. So I would like to see them bring out a heap of different options, colors, ranges, and stuff like that, which would make it a lot more palatable for that price point. So one of the great things about the drive is the flow control. And that's the thing that really sets it apart from the 700 own on its own. And this gives you the ability to really play around with your extractions. You can do super short extractions, super long extractions, like one minute 42, if you want to do light roast and have it as a, like a filter coffee. It also gives you the ability to pause after the pre-infusion. So if you want to do a six second pre-infusion and then stop for 60 seconds while it sort of brews before adding the pressure, you can do that. So it really gives you that ability to become experimental with your espresso. It doesn't cost a whole much more, like maybe a couple of hundred dollars US, a little bit more to get the drive. So I would certainly, if you're looking at these machines, it's worthwhile investing that couple of hundred dollars more to get that ability, even if you don't use it all the time. This machine also has a great amount of built-in features, like reminds you to back flush, reminds you to change your water filter. It also has an eco mode and two programmable wake up time so depending on when you know to use it in the morning and maybe in the evening you can have it automatically come on start up heat up for you those 10 15 minutes before you're ready to use it so these features are really handy there's a whisper quiet rotary pump which i think is fantastic for all those people making coffees early in the morning the flow rate on the profiler can be adjusted from 2.5 right up to 20 grams per second which is really fast so almost giving you something not quite as fast as a lever but very close Profitech 700, I give it a nine out of 10. Speaking of levers, that's coming up in the very next machine I'm about to review. Let's check it out. All right, the Profitech Pro 800 is actually a lever machine. And a lot of people are really getting into lever machines now. This is why, again, I love the German Italian combination because you're blending both traditional classic lever style machines with the modern all the advanced features that you have on the modern machines. So if any of you have had any experience with lever machines, you'll know of the brand La Pavoni, one of the original inventors of the lever machine. One of the guys that watched the video on the La Pavoni actually commented and gave me some clarity into why the La Pavoni levers are so special. And I think the Profitech can do a similar thing. It can really drop in about 50 milligrams of water straight onto the puck in about a second, which just, unheard of in any other machine you get that flow rate up to about 28 mil but you can't get higher than that so this drops the milliliters of water straight onto the puck really giving that pre-infusion really allowing that to bloom before you start extracting it so that's something to know with levers but obviously the lever is its own pressure profiler so unlike your flow controls which aren't a true pressure control the lever one is, then the Profitech Pro 800 gives you that ability to experiment with super long extractions, double extractions, that little flurry. There's so many different ways to extract coffee on a lever machine that it's really open to anyone who wants to experiment and really try crazy new ideas. And that's what the Profitech Pro 800 really gives you, that ability to take your espresso to the next level. Now, even though it does have the advanced features like the PID and obviously the pre-infusion and pressure profiling control, you do sacrifice a little bit. This is not a dual boiler machine. This is a single boiler machine. 
which means it's a little bit harder to do both your milk and your coffee at the same time. It's a sacrifice that you have to make, but most people who are into lever machines aren't drinking it for cappuccinos and lattes. They're really trying to hone in on the espresso side of things, drinking coffee, purest form without any milk. So they're not going to worry about having a dual boiler as much as someone who's pumping out tons of cappuccinos. They're not too expensive either. They're about 3,200 US dollars in that range. It's a lot more expensive, obviously, than your Lapavonis. However, it's a completely different type, style of machine. The Lapavonis are very manual and very, very, you have to use your knowledge and your skill sets to rely on getting a great extraction. Whereas the Profitech gives you some of that advanced features to allow you, it's kind of fixes your coffee in a little way. By having that PID, have that temperature stability, you're not having to worry about making sure that your water is too hot or too cold and you can really play around with everything. So I just feel like if you're going to start delving into uh, lever machines, that this might be a good place to start. There is also an updated version, which instead of having the rotary knobs on your machine, you can actually get the actuators, which just means you get instant full pressure steam without having to twist. You just knock the lever down and press it off to uh, turn it off. Same with the hot water as well. It kind of makes it really unique in a lot of the other ways that you have to turn them on, but you don't have as much control over a knob. That's the only difference between having an actuator versus that. So that you can't always finesse it to have half steam pressure blasting instead of full pressure. So I give it a nine out of 10. I just love these machines. I think you can't really fold them, especially if you're a lever head. This would be a fantastic second option. If you're upgrading from a La Pavone, this would be a fantastic one. I want to hear from you guys out there who have these machines, who might have upgraded from another machine, how you're finding it now, how you're enjoying having that full control over the pressure. And of course, if you do enjoy these videos, consider subscribing to the channel. I want to build out a whole bunch of these what coffee machines to buy in every different budget. I'll be releasing them midway through the year, specifically for the US because I know a lot of them go on sale around mid-year, so that might be helpful for you guys. And then I'll do one also for the Australian market so that this one won't be combined US and Australian pricing. And I'll try and separate them out to have the budgets for each particular country. Let's get back into coffee machines. So next up is ECM Synchronica. And there's a couple of different models here. What I really love about ECM, similar to the other manufacturers, they have little tweaks that you can pay a little bit more if you wanna add the flow control on. There's a little kit that you can purchase as well. It all comes built together, but you can just add on that. If you wanna add some walnut or some oak, different timbers to your handles and stuff like that, you can add that. If you wanna add the different colored side panels, matte black, there's even limited Mercedes AMG edition. If you wanna pay a little bit more, about 3,700 for the AMG edition, but it has the classic AMG side panels, the logo, even has carbon fiber handles and accents around it, which makes it look really nice. If you own an AMG Mercedes, you'll definitely wanna purchase one of these and you can check out the full video here. Other than that, it's a pretty standard machine. Like it's an E61 classic Italian looking machine, but it has all of the features built into it. PID, it has your flow controller, it has a really nice quiet motor, which can be directly plumbed in as well. It has a built-in shot timer, although a lot of the times most people are using their scales or a separate timer anyway, so it's not a huge feature there. But what I do like about it is it has a seven day programmable feature. So let's say you get up really early for work Monday to Friday and you needed to come on 30 minutes before you get up. So you set it for five o'clock in the morning, get up at 5.30, make your coffee. And then on the weekends, you like to sleep in until nine, 9.30, you can have it set up for that. But let's say on Saturdays, you take the kids to the soccer class, so you get up seven, so you can have it come on half an hour before that, and Sundays are different. So I really love that feature of being able to program it depending on what your weekly schedule is, as opposed to just having it come on at one day. Small feature, but a lot of people would find that beneficial. So the pros of the ECM Synchronica are all the same, depending, doesn't matter if you get the AMG model, they all have the ability to have that flow control so that's about $200 US more, around that 3300 price range. But they all work similarly in terms of they're all dual boiler, E61. They all have rotary pumps in them, which are nice whisper quiet motors. And we have 
the ability to turn the bar pressure on the steam one right up to two bar, which is just huge. So if you're doing a huge jug of milk for a lot of people at once, you can push the pressure right up to two bar and smash out the milk. It doesn't destroy the milk either. You're still gonna be able to get that silky milk, just means you're gonna be able to do the huge volume in a much quicker turnaround time than if you had it on a 1.5 or a one bar. Having said that, one of the cons I feel about this machine is that the steam one doesn't always offer speed as well as it's advertised. So you might need to pump up more pressure in order to get your milk done quicker because it says that it does it really quickly, but sometimes I find that it doesn't always have enough guts to really speed through that milk. Other than that, the really only other con I have is that, and this is a personal preference, is that some people prefer the beautiful non-digital versions of espresso machines and other people want a few features. And I think Bezerra really mix that in well because they keep that traditional look, but add in a really neatly built touchscreen display but there's nothing on the ECM Synchronica and that might be an issue for a lot of people who want to have access to the deeper functions and features. Overall, I give it a seven out of 10. Well, we've actually run out of time. This video could go on for another 40 minutes. However, I want to give you some time to digest the information. So stay tuned for part two when I go into even more machines between $3,000 and $6,000. I'm Ryde, your coffee coach, and as always, enjoy your brew.